a third of the world is unconnected and technology such as internet balloons can change that. Another core need is when you consider um, people who don't have access to internet, they have as much as, um, I think I quoted before, lower GPA by one point as opposed to individuals who do. So this doesn't just connect, this doesn't just affect third world countries who want to be part of a digital ecosystem. It um, affects impoverished communities. And then when you look at stuff like censorship, like, for example, um, regimes that are censoring information, including um, primarily the Bible and then other information or political dissent and stuff like that, being able to have localized internet as is very crucial and then when you talk about like decentralization or distribution the internet shouldn't be just gatekept by a few individuals the goal eventually is to create a new telemetry protocol on top of this infrastructure and it's obviously one step at a time which is why we're working on alternative methods that are not part of wlan or the ieee standard but we hope those methods could eventually become part of the global internet ecosystem. And then obviously we want to level up the playing field. So access to cost-effective telemetry is very crucial in order to further the gap in relationship to knowledge, data, education, and communication. And we want to be very data-oriented. So not just do we want to offer access to connectivity but we have logging systems in place that are based off of Supabase and various different softwares so we want everything to be logged we want to be able to have um, very valuable metrics and be able to sort of go up the innovation pipeline and then again obviously these costs are are um you, when you're considering the much lower launch cost per satellite, you have to also consider obviously the limitations in regards to how many users and radius and stuff like that. But still, when you're talking about trying to provide localized access and to communities that might not have that sort of access, this could be very enticing in terms of like actual lower launch costs, even though um, um, very targeted towards um, smaller populations. And Obviously, we want to have 100 up, 10 megabytes down. We are targeting 20. And then the pricing plan will be the gateways would be included with the launch. And then we want to have $5 a month in ISP plans. And we're hoping to have that with actual profit margin, which um, is the actual goal given the technology we have in place. And then launch logistics. Obviously, we want to work on city by city basis and obviously stuff have to be centered around um, scope of work pricing and solution and the actual needs per city there are also other telemetry mechanisms we can work with beyond just um, the traditional internet or wlan which include LoRaWAN, um stuff target uh, lower LoRaWAN, which would be t or um, mqtt and stuff like that which would target um agriculture farmers, um, remote sens sensing solutions. So we have a wide variety of different capabilities. Obviously, um, when you talk about city launches, even for under 30,000 feet logistic logistics, you still have to have somewhat of an FAA flyer, um, city approval, stuff like that. Which we have done that for test launches. Long term, it's a bit iffy because of all the regulations in place with permitting, which we're sort of going through that experience right now. We have had experiences with an approved FFA e notem request for a test launch. So we're sort of aware of how that process goes. And then you can visit startcom.io to learn more about what we want to do in terms of the potential ISP that we want to become. And then beyond that, because we're trying to solve all needs in terms of uh, interconnected system, smart city, um, trying to provide infrastructure to those who are in need. And you look at um, you look at earth SIPs and all that. The goal is not just telemetry, but telemetry plus power plus obviously water, which is um, which would allow for for a station, allow for food diversity, stuff like that. So it's um, a very crucial goal that we have in relationship to the technologies we're trying to create. 